Want to have a snack in class? Bite off a piece of an eraser, eat a berry from the brooch, and blow a bubble with sweet tape. Watch a step-by-step -step instruction on how to sneak food into class in our new video. There is a lot to do at school, as always. We have to like new photos, talk about what we did on vacation, and come up with new ways to prank the teacher. By the way, here she comes! We have to hide all of our stuff under the desk right now. Oops! Who is it? Meet our new teacher, Miss Elizabeth. Wow! She looks attractive. But where is our beloved Miss Smith? Apparently, she's not back from her vacation yet. Even the new teacher can't make us get rid of old habits. Chewing in class became a tradition. Cindy's got bubble gum. But we are not sure about a possible reaction of the new teacher. This is why we use a secret bubble gum holder. Coat a tape dispenser with acrylic paint. Put a paper ring onto the holder. And wind a hubba bubba strip around it. Assemble the dispenser and take out the end of the gum. My bubble gum is hidden nicely. Hubba Bubba instead of the tape. But it's hard to play a trick on Miss Elizabeth. I really like it. I think I'll keep it. She takes the tape dispenser, tears off a piece, and puts it into her mouth. The new teacher enjoys blowing a big bubble in class. Cindy erases her pencil with a regular eraser. So boring! Take my sweet mamba eraser! Attach four chewy candies to each other using gelatin glue. Wrap the block with a cardboard strip having an eraser name on it. Hot glue the end. Cindy can't figure out what's so special about my eraser. Is it made out of candy? Miss Elizabeth needs an eraser. Where is it? She will have to ask the girls for it. She takes the sweet eraser by accident. She will find out our secret now. But the teacher likes Mamba too. She eats the entire candy gladly. Redhead needs a knife right now. She wants to cut off all her loose ends she has at school. But Cindy doesn't have a proper tool. Maybe Miss Elizabeth has a knife. Roll out a sour rainbow belt and cut it off at an angle. Cut off the excess to make it the same size as the utility knife blade. Make a small hole at the bottom. Take apart a utility knife. Attach the sour belt instead of the blade and put it onto the knife. Our new teacher has not only a sharp eye, but also a sharp knife. She kindly gives us the rainbow knife. I take out the blade. It looks like unicorn school supplies. It bends suspiciously and smells like a candy. It's dangerous to take food from the knife blade, but this blade is so tempting itself. Miss Elizabeth can prank her new students, too. Dolly sneaked food into class on her clothes. She made a sweet brooch. Don't worry, our new teacher won't mind it. Knead fondant and make a circle. Hot glue a back pin on a felt strip. Trim the edge using a round cutter. Cover the fondant with confectionery glue and attach small candies of different shapes and colors to the brooch. Dolly worries that the new teacher will take her accessory. But Miss Elizabeth likes gummies too. Unfortunately, her candy bag has gotten empty. But she sees a sweet brooch on her student. Excellent! Redhead assures her friend that she has nothing to worry about. The new teacher is very friendly when it comes to candies in class. She is not angry with Dolly for the brooch. On the contrary, she asks her to share. You can consider it as a teacher's tax on food in class. Now you can keep eating your candies. See? I told you she's cute! Dolly adores donuts. 
It's a pity this donut on the pen is not edible, but everything becomes possible with our new teacher. Miss Elizabeth prepares a sweet prank on her student when Dolly asks permission to go out. Soak jelly powder in water and stir. Put sprinkles into a donut mold and pour in the jelly. Let it harden. Redhead and the new teacher ganged up on Dolly. They sneak a pen with the jelly donut onto Dolly's desk. It looks so delicious. Dolly comes back to the class. And where is her pen? What is it? Did a jelly donut actually appear on her pen instead of the eraser cap? Miss Elizabeth knows how to cheer up her students. Okay, Dolly. Take your pen and return the jelly donut to the teacher. I need to glue my paper craft. My friend's glue stick looks weird as always. Where does she get her school supplies? Probably from some mysterious store. Clean an empty glue stick thoroughly. Add dry food coloring to half an ounce of gelatin. Put in half an ounce of sugar and add some citric acid. Pour in some water and stir. Pour the jelly into the stick and let it harden. I want to glue a piece of paper, but Cindy takes her glue away. This is actually fruit jelly. You can't use it as the glue, but you can have a tasty snack with it in class. It's boiling hot. The girls start sweating after thinking too hard. They need to come up with something. Where is my fridge bag? Cut out two felt rectangles, a smaller and a bigger one. Round one side of the smaller rectangle. Hot glue the details to a piece of black felt. Apply hot glue to the bottom and to the sides to make two pockets. Cut off the excess. Trace the top curve on a black foam rubber sheet. And cut out three strips. Hot glue them to the top of the pink felt. Add other black foam rubber details to make it look like a fridge door. Fasten Velcro tapes to the top parts of the pockets. Cut the back part, side panels, and the bottom of the bag out of the black felt. Hot glue to assemble the bag. Add a felt handle. Print out the names for fridge sections and attach refrigerator and freezer labels to the top and the bottom pockets. Cindy takes out her fridge-shaped bag and takes an ice cream from the freezer. It's exactly what I need on such a hot day. She takes out a chocolate bar from the fridge section for herself. This bag is so handy. You know at once that there is a snack here. The class is over and it's time to go home. Redhead puts her school supplies into a pencil case. But it's not just a pencil case, it's a big yellow piece of cheese. Cut pencil case details out of a yellow foam rubber sheet. Rectangles of two and a half inches wide, elongated triangles with identical sides and a four inch base. And rectangles two and a half inches by four inches. Hot glue the details to get a wedge of cheese. Attach two rectangular sides to one triangle. Add another triangle. Assemble a 3D detail. Cover the back. Attach a Velcro tape to the pointed end. Punch the second set of details with a hole puncher. Make it look like holes on real cheese. Details to the cheese pencil case. Why has Redhead hidden her pencils case for so long? This Parmesan pencil case looks great in pictures. We are getting delicious photos with it. Miss Elizabeth notices too. She likes her new students. They are as funny as she is. This is why she wants to make a surprise for them. Real cheese sandwiches instead of the cheese pencil case. See you next time at school. Did you like our new ideas on how to sneak food into class? Then write in your comments which teacher you like the most. Our beloved Miss Smith or stylish and kind Miss Elizabeth. And don't forget to give your thumbs up 
Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new school ideas on the Troom Troom channel.